the draw, steps up, throws deep to the right side for Smith. In the end zone, Rod Smith with a Denver touchdown. Boy, you talk about a huge drive by this Bronco team. I was born in Miami, Florida. My dad played for the Dolphins, so that's why we were down there. My, both my parents were originally from Indiana. I had two older brothers, and we just competed in everything. When I found football, it wasn't as a quarterback, because I wasn't big enough to be a lineman, and I wasn't fast enough to be a receiver or running back. That was the only position I could play. My mother uh, was a great athlete in her own right, um, and she actually taught me how to play tennis and, and golf, and was, she was the glue that held our family together. I mean, I'm sure that, that that's the truth for a lot of families. Um, but as three boys, um, she was really the, the emotion and the heart of the family. Um, she uh, originally um, was diagnosed with breast cancer, um, and and actually had uh, the treatment, chemotherapy and radiation, and went into remission um, for five years. Five years later, the, the cancer came back. It wasn't long after the cancer came back that she ultimately died. Uh, I was 12 at that time. But we went to the hospital the day before she died and spent a significant amount of time with her. And the next day, um, you know, I, I woke up, came down uh, downstairs, and. My father told me that she was gone. I remember the first Christmas after she died, we didn't want to even be in the house because she had certain traditions and things that she did and put up in the house. And if we were at home, everything that was missing that was normally there would remind us of her. Yeah, you know, when my mother died, I didn't feel like I had a whole lot of people to talk to. I didn't know any other kid that was my age that had lost somebody in their life. Um, that was a very difficult feeling. You know, I felt, uh, I felt like I was alone with it. You know, as a 12-year-old, when your mother's taken away from you, you start to have questions about uh, God, you know, and why God would do such a thing, you know? And, uh, and I was angry. Uh, I was angry at God. You know, I was angry at society, you know, for not being able to cure cancer. Um, but most dangerous, I was probably uh, uh, angry at myself and not having a chance to go back and change the way that I had treated my mom and be a better son and do more. Um, and so those three things, you know, created a pressure cooker. And I didn't feel like I could talk about all the things I was feeling with my father because I didn't want him to worry about me. And without anywhere to go to talk to anybody that was experiencing that same thing and not wanting to burden my dad, it became very uh, lonesome. So a lot of my energy as was, was kept inside. Uh, and then my outlet, my only outlet, were sports. The ball at the 42-yard line now. Greasy rolls out, still got it, lets it go big for Ty Street. Part of the reason why I fell in love with sports was because I just loved the competition. But as I look back, probably most of my interest in sports was an outlet for my emotions. And, um, and it was a great outlet um, to be a part of, of a team, uh, even though they didn't know what I was really feeling or thinking, uh, at least I felt a part of that team. somebody that you love and you care about, uh, there's no easy way through. Um, there is no detour. Um, there is no avoiding. Um, you know, like for me, stuffing and moving on with other tasks and just hoping that it would dissolve and go away, that doesn't happen. Not when you truly love somebody. And um, so my advice is to touch that feeling. Uh, respect that feeling. Um, find ways to express. There are many different forms of expression, whether it's art, photography, or whether it's sport. And even if you don't share it with anybody, um, that is a way to, to take what's inside and, and get it out. I believe that grief is, uh, is emotion and it's energy. 
right? And, and that, that energy's gotta go somewhere. You can find ways to memorialize that person who died, ways to make that person proud of who you are and how you're growing up and how you're becoming resilient and, and overcoming adversity. And the last thing I would say is there are people out there that have been through this and there are people out there that want to help and uh, they'll make it through.